What's up guys, welcome back to another Hypixel Skyblock video. I know I haven't really uploaded much recently, it's mainly because there's not much for me to do endgame, so if we hit 3,000 likes on this video, which I don't think we will, I will start a brand new series where I basically start from nothing and just kind of get to see the end game, at least attempt to. Now if that interests you, again, 3,000 likes and I'll do it. Anyways, let's get on into the actual video. Now today I'm going to be explaining why your skills are very important to Skyblock. Now if you go to your skyblock menu and go to the skills, there are 9 skills. There's farming, mining, combat, foraging, fishing, enchanting, alchemy, carpentry, and runecrafting. Now 5 out of these 9's are the ones that are actually useful and 4 of them just don't really have any purpose. Now let's just start with the ones that basically are pointless and just no one really cares about. Let's start with runecrafting. Now this is a cosmetic kind of skill so the higher you get it, the better runes you can put onto your weapons armor whatever you want and honestly just isn't really that helpful to like end game stuff but uh hey there's that next we have carpentry which is mainly for another cosmetic thing you don't really get anything stat wise so again also pointless and no use next we have alchemy which is kind of nice the higher it is the more time you get on your pots and i just got mine to level 25 so i get 20 minute potions overall it's still not the best thing and it's not really needed the two intelligence is definitely not worth it, but hey, the longer brewing time, I do recommend getting that, but again, not worth it. Next, we have enchanting, which honestly, again, who cares? That's two intelligence each level, like, I don't care. Plus, you just gain more experience the higher you go, so you can just see it's not worth it. Now, if you guys actually do want to level up those four, well, for enchanting, it's very simple. All you want to do is just go over here, enchant it, sharp six. Oh my god, knockback, are you serious? And as you guys saw, I did get XP for that, so that's for enchanting. For as alchemy, all you want to do is just brew up some potions. You guys know how to brew potions, so I'm not going to go in depth on that. For carpentry, once you're in the hub, all you want to do is take a sharp left and go over to this person over here and talk to the carpenter. And after that, you'll be able to unlock this skill for carpentry and then after that it's very simple to level it up to level up carpentry let's just grab five stacks of magma cream and turn them into enchanted magma cream and as you can see we got 76.8 carpentry xp so that just helps with carpentry the better the item is the higher and harder it is to get the more xp you will get for example if we make a golden block instead of 76 we are going to get 3000 carpentry xp for that and now i have two enchanted golden blocks which i have no purpose for but you know what instead of the ones that are bad let's get into the skills that are very nice which is these bad boys right here farming mining combat forging and fishing now i'm going to briefly talk about why each one is good and then i'm going to be showing you guys how to get them just like the, the most efficient way so let's get into that Starting off by farming, the reason why farming is great because the more levels you get, the more HP you get, and overall, if you get it to at least level 20, if you get all of these to level 20, that is a great start and it's something you want to do. Now each level for me, I'm going to be getting 4 HP per and I get a chance to get double drops, and this is actually a good thing too because if you just start farming a lot, then you'll get more resources and just more money, so uh, these are definitely worth it, 100%. So the HP boost is nice. Now, just like farming, we have fishing, but this is, unfortunately for me, just a lower cost because it's 3 HP per level. But the more and the higher up I get, it's going to be 4 HP, so uh, this takes a lot more work than farming, but it again, it is going to give you more HP, and you can catch up some pretty cool things. So this is something I do recommend if you have the patience to fish, unlike me. Now we have three more. Let's talk about mining. Now, mining is one of the most easiest things to get to leveled up. And this allows you to get more defense and overall just take more hits overall. Now, the reason why you want defense is because you can just have an insane amount of defense and HP and just basically be unkillable. So the higher this is, just the more you get. Now, I am a very low mining level. I'm only level 18, but if I went all the way to level 25... That is about 6 levels there, and that is 12 defense. And honestly, defense just adds up, so I would definitely like to get the 12 defense if I just wanted to put the time into it. And honestly, it's not that hard. For combat, this is definitely something you were going to want, especially for endgame. Mine is actually a pretty high level, purely because of the fact that I grinded a lot of Z-Lots before I ended up buying them. I do regret buying a lot of them. I do want a higher combat level. Um, so I'll eventually start working on this a lot more, but for now, you know, we're chilling with a level 22 combat. 
that gives us one crit chance per level now this is great for you guys with a small crit chance because uh well you can get a higher crit chance just from killing mobs and you won't even need to talisman spam for zealous now lastly we're talking about forging this is something you're gonna want if you have a good boat because strength plays an important role and you want strength strength is super super good i'm just lazy i don't want to do this kind of stuff so this is why all my skills are pretty low but i'm just telling you guys now that these skills are very important to get now the most efficient way to level up mining is very simple if you have a bunch of minions preferably diamond minions you just want to go over and just mine them like this it's very simple they're going to automatically do it for you but if you have around 20 of them you can just go in a row and get a bunch of mining xp and that's like the best way to level up mining and i should probably do that soon but you know yeah there's a tip for you now for farming it is also very simple you can use either sugarcane or pumpkin i prefer pumpkin but uh i will show you guys what you can do if you have a sugarcane you kind of want to go at an angle and break the top and then go forward into the bottom so then you're just going at a kind of weird motion and just kind of move your mouse up and down just so you can get xp levels to level it up because if you just hold it straight you're gonna eventually stop gaining XP like I just did now, but if you slightly move your mouse, you can get more XP. So that's just a tip for you if you never understood why that ever happened. There you go. Now sugarcane only gives you two XP, so this is why I like to go with pumpkins. Now, if I just pull out my Y set, which I'm not gonna put on now, and just grab my rogue sword, um, you can see that I go faster with it, and I can get a bunch of XP very, very fast because pumpkins give you four farming xp each time you break it and i did just clear this which is why it's not full but this is a great way to level up your farming to be honest i don't think i need to go over this but uh hey for combat all you want to do is just left click some mobs and you can see that you get xp now you don't want to kill the mobs up here i mean unless you don't have the best weapon then i guess this will do since it's a better chance to get xp and i don't know what's faster honestly but you don't get the most xp by killing these endermen but i do know that these spawn the most frequent so maybe it is a little bit better anyways yeah you can kill endermen for xp i'm getting 28 for killing these level 45s you get 36 for killing level 50. As you can see, if I kill a level 50 Enderman, I get 36 combat XP. Um, so this is why we kill mobs in the end, because level 55 gives us 40 combat XP per kill. So this is why you want to kill them. It's just honestly just more efficient. So um, yeah, I do recommend killing these guys. And you can just kind of bow spam these because, uh, you know, free XP. You, you always want free XP, right? Especially if there's a stampede of watchers, sometimes they just let them go. Uh, just kind of bow spam them, and they could just die in a few hits. And honestly, you know, it racks up XP. And combat is very important to get. I do recommend getting it. Also, here's a runic. This gives you runic XP. I got 270, but, you know, it's not a lot. But it adds up if you grind for your combat level next we're moving on to forging there are two ways to do this one of them is by getting a jungle axe or the next one is getting haste three potions and efficiency five golden axe now just because i don't have any haste three potions this is a simple way all you want to do is just chop down some wood it's very simple like this is the most easiest skill to level up honestly it doesn't take much work so uh hey there there's your chance to get it leveled up if you want to but yeah if you have a haste three potion and an efficiency five golden axe you can basically instant mine every single block and it is a little bit faster than the regular jungle axe so again i i do recommend doing that if you have the resources to do so but a jungle axe works just fine as well overall the reason why you guys want to get these skills is primarily because these skills are very important to this end game progress now without these skills leveled up you're not going to have a lot of strength a lot of defense and a lot of hp to just be where you want to be you're just going to die a lot and you won't have the strength to do the extra damage you could do to like dragons and whatnot so again you definitely want to get these skills leveled up to at least level 20 which is something i'm going to be working on a little bit on stream and some off stream work again i do want to formally apologize for the lack of uploads again it's just there's really not much content to be released from skyblock and i am hoping that tomorrow since this video is going to be uploaded on monday i hope that tuesday has an update please i am praying to the skyblock gods but again just to remind you guys, if we hit 3,000 likes on this video, I will be sure to start a new series where I just completely start from scratch, where I can't take any sort of 
donation from you guys so I'll basically just be on my own and I can just demonstrate what you should do at a lower gameplay to mid gameplay to head late end game gameplay anyways that is about it I hope to see you guys soon and I'll catch y'all later peace out